a fellow Israelite for payment of a debt. debt. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen, gentlemen that's, that's why the statute, statute limitations, limitations for collecting on a debt gentlemen is Gentlemen and ladies, unlike the Sabbath-keeping Israelite, ladies and gents, I've been listening to this for, <laughs> isn't it interesting, the last 58 minutes. I've been listening to my own video for the last hour. And I'm going to stop it now because I'm doing this video. But I want to show you. Now, what I'm about to show you, I'm going to show you how you and I don't think alike. I'm going to show you how very few people think along the line that I think. What I'm going to show you is something that I wasn't going to show you because I know everybody's going to try to copy. I'm not going to show you the finished product, nor am I going to show you how we're putting these products together. Nor am I going to show you all the places that we're going to be sending these documents. Why? Because the last time, other people tried to mimic what we were doing, tried to add these things to what they're doing, and they caused us a lot of problems. I don't... Information is free. I, that's why I give you guys the information. I don't charge nobody for this information. No, no. It's my time that people are paying for when they ask for a consult. So... As long as we understand that. My people understand that because they've been around for a long time. They know me. They, they, my people know me. Now, I'm talking to everybody at this point. So we're going to shut this down. I'm going to show you how you don't think like I do. This is our new Certificate of Continuous Existence of Natural Life, supported by Verified Affidavit. Now, I'm just putting it together. It, the, the concept... We've already had that. I've already been telling you that's what we're going to do. Okay? We're not even going to pay attention. I haven't even finished. But I'm putting it together, showing things that will prove the person is alive. First of all, you're going to go and get an EKG. What the? Why well, I got to go get an EKG? Because it shows you have a heart rate. Go back and look at the abortion. The abortion laws are just passed, even in the one in Texas. Texas. A fetus after six weeks, if it has a heart rate, no abortion. Now, that's not why I'm doing this. Not because they just did that today. The EKG was something I came up with as I was creating this document. Yeah, you're going to get a birth certificate. Because that was a certificate that you were born alive. It's called a live birth certificate. You need that proof other than that you're dead. Well, let's say I'm civilly dead. Don't, we're not, this ain't got nothing to do with all that bull crap. Okay, you're not trying, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> like I said, I'm not proving to you guys or showing you guys where this PDF is going. And no, it won't be up on the website. This is for our sat packers. Yeah, you previous sat packers, eventually, in the future, you're not going to get it now. Okay, so don't ask. We will send it to you. You don't have to ask. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the other thing. If you want to send it to somebody else and their grandfather, we are not going to be angry with you. We need to put a stop to this presumptive junk. You are presumed dead or lost at sea. Not because you've been absent. No, because it's presumed you've been absent. So they created these records for you, and you did not object, which means you ain't been around for a long time. Okay, so an EKG shows you have a heartbeat. And then you want to have one within the past 90 days. Now, why 90 days? Why not within the past week? Well, within the past 90 days is the past week. Well, why can't I use one from eight years ago, six months ago, a year ago? Because, ladies and gentlemen, you could probably use one from a year ago. You could probably use one from two years ago. Okay, so let's do this. Because this is us. We can do whatever we want. So let's do 290 days. No, no, no. Let's do three, three, six, five. Okay. 365 days last year has to be within the last oh I see within the last 365 days of this security instrument okay oh yeah see 
we're about to make this into something. It's not only going to be a security instrument because it's going to be the collateral and everything associated with it. But this is going to be notarized. Now, like I said, you guys don't think like I think. So I'm going to tell you how this is going to be done. It's going to be notarized with three different persons showing up at the notary and having their IDs and their signatures on this document notarized. And what I would suggest, if the three people are going to have it notarized for one, the three people are going to have it notarized for each other, so you're going to have to pay the notary for each affidavit. Sorry. Got to be done. No, by the way, do you know if you go to your county clerk's office? Notaries are, should be free if you're a resident. Okay? Just want just want to let y'all know that. So just, just want to let y'all know. Our people who get theirs notarized will get a discount with our electronic notary. Just letting you know. Ladies and gentlemen, the fact that you have three individuals witnessing knowledge of the other individual's life and they're documenting and witnessing each other's documents let me explain to you how much more powerful that is than a notary seal. Technically, you won't need a notary seal. Oh, by the way, I haven't finished. This is just me. I want to show you. That's just me putting the document together, and I haven't even finished. Okay? All of these sections, the only thing I did was the Pledge of Collateral. Where are you at, Pledge of Collateral? It's in black. There it is. Pledge of Collateral for slash Security. That's the only thing I added down there. Oh, and then current address where you live. We don't want your residence. We want where you live. We don't want where you reside. We want where you live. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on. Some of y'all are getting what I just said. This is a certificate of continuous existence of natural life. Now, let me show you what I've been doing in my background. Pay attention. The life of a human being was at stake. And for the time being, it is sheltered by presumption of innocence. Okay. Uh-uh. Evidence to prove one is alive. Let's see what we got right here. The first question is whether the increasing evidence of innocent individuals... No, not that one. I don't know how I got to this junk. I ain't supposed to be here. Human being, innocence. Let's see. Okay. By not instructing the jury the existence of the presumption of life, which guarantees that a person convicted of murder the right to live incarcerated for life unless prosecution demonstrates beyond a reasonable doubt that death is the only appropriate penalty for the defendant. Not looking for that. Ladies and gentlemen, I had some other cases pulled up. Let's see if they're on a different... No, that's not that. It was here. And I don't know, oh, that's why, that's why, I think it's here. Nope, it's not here either. That's interesting that the cases I pulled up, these are none of the ones I saw a minute ago. Now, why would that happen, ladies and gentlemen? Why would that happen? That I just set up here for a certainty and found the cases I was looking for, and I wasn't looking for nobody being convicted of anything. Interesting, huh? Let's see. Yeah, let's do that again. Let's do this search again, because I assure you that the case that I just pulled up, and if that case, if... We can't find it by doing... Oh, wait a minute. I know I just did that button again. And it ain't did nothing. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Now it did something. Like I said, I know somebody be tapping into things because I be trying to push on things and ain't nothing be moving. And so that means that I know somebody be messing with my... You know, my, 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 You know, I was a fan of the TV series Leverage. 
And now they've done leverage again, you know, leverage uh, reanimated. <laughs> and it's not reanimated, I apologize, but I'm watching the new leverage and you know what? It isn't bad. I'm thinking it's almost a little bit better, but you have to be associated with the original leverage in order to get the new leverage. All right. The first question is whether or not, no, not that one. No, these are the same ones. So it definitely is giving me something different. So let's see if I can do this. And one more. Since it wants to play games with me, I'm going to play games with it. There you go. Parallel search. And it'll be one second so I can explain to you what's going on so that you guys will get it. We're going to go all the way up to the top. Let's see. All right. I think any one of these should do. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no. That's still a jury thing. I don't want that type of jury thing. We have explained that the accused right to present evidence, okay, that the decedent committed suicide is a most important one. So you also have the right to prove you are alive. And we're going to go up. Nope. The first question, no, not that one. Oh, it's still giving me the same junk. I didn't ask for that stuff. So got one more. Because I know it's in here. I know they can't hide from my memories, but day after day I tried. I keep saying she'll be back, but today again I... Oh, not that one. The latter authorizes a presumption that when a person is once shown to be alive, he continues alive until evidence is brought to show to the contrary. Ladies and gentlemen, however, I want you to know this right here because you need to understand the court says they there's a presumption of life however there's also a presumption of death what you talking about Willis well let me show you the full quote because this court is quoting all right not to the contrary we don't want to the ah let's pay attention the defendant argues that when a person is shown to be alive at a given time, the law presumes that he remains alive until the contrary is shown, or, in the absence of proof, a different presumption arises. Such is indeed the law of this state. So, look, until a different presumption arises that they say you're dead again. What's the number one presumption they use to prove that you are civilly dead? Now we can talk about civilly dead. Anybody know? Anybody know? They use a photo affixed to a document with language on it height description weight yeah some storage package ladies and gentlemen your ID does not prove your who you are that is not your identification it never was your identification that does not identify you what identifies you is you that photo is two-dimensional you are a three-dimensional character creature character nonetheless you can think and speak for yourself no other creatures in existence besides those angels angelic creatures and God have the ability of speaking and thinking for themselves parents can speak yeah parents can speak no not parents parents carrots carrots can't speak you ignorant I didn't say carrots, I said parrots! Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why he gets so excited. Of course I knew he said parents. Um, no, we don't want to hear him talk again, so y'all, shh, don't tell him I said that. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot prove your life through papers. You cannot prove your life through plastics with images on them. That is not proof of life. That's not even proof of your identity. The only one who can prove that you are alive, come on now, think with me, is you. The only one who can prove you're alive 
is you. Go ahead. Prove to me I'm wrong. Prove to me I'm alive. I dare you. The reason why you can't prove I'm alive is because you're not me. You have no idea who I am. You only have an idea of what I am, but you have no idea of who I am. Okay, for instance, and you just got you have to bear with me on this because it's not philosophical. It is based on how their presumptions work. Ladies and gentlemen, what I used to do with people is I used to ask them, who is God? And you know what they would always say? He's God. No, that's what he is. The question is, watch this. I'm going to put it in here. W-H-O is God. Now, this is not going to tell me right away. Okay? That's why it says who? W-H-O. But it has God. And then it, now it gives a name. Okay. That's still not who he is. It just identifies him. So, who is God? Watch this. We're going to give you the number one identifier. Let's go this way. And some of you are going to get it. Uh, oh, it says who ID. So let's do that. H-W-O-I. I put who did. Uh, id God. So <laughs> that's why it didn't give me more. But some of you understand the answer to the question. Wow, I am expounding on it. But prior to that expounding, you weren't getting it. And some of you are not getting it. Some of you are trying to think, and remember, this has nothing to do with religion. This has everything to do with who is God. Just that simple. So what we're going to do, because we have the three words, it's going to be one place we're going to go, because one place explains it succinctly. The other places, yeah, they give you some more detail, but we're looking for succinctness. Where, why, you know what? I understand that now. Because this is a study edition of the Biblia. We're going to go to 1 John. Some of you are already there. You, you're already starting to get where I'm going. I'm going to go to the full chapter. Quattro. Uh oh, wrong one. I went here and I got to hit enter in order for it to catch up. Because it ain't caught up here. Come on now. Nope, that ain't it. Sorry, I don't know why it's playing games with me. Oh, snappy wappy. I know what's going on. Let's do that again. Okay. Now, when I do this. It's not going to take me to foe. No, oh, it's going to take me to foe. I don't know why I didn't do it the last time. Ladies and gentlemen, whoever does not love has not come to know God because God is love. That's who he is. He is love. Everybody thinks love is a word. No, this is a word that comes from him. You would not know the word if it were not from him. So word, the word love is not a feeling. I got the feeling. <clears throat> no. Uh-uh. Love is not a feeling. He is the personification of love. That's simply who he is. Okay, hold on. Oh, I didn't mean to shut that down. A person who is alive. Who else can define me or identify me other than me? You cannot identify me. You don't know me. Even if you pointed me out on the street, you are not identifying me. You cannot identify me. You don't have the authority to identify me. One person cannot identify another. Why? Because you don't know everything about me. That don't make no difference. Oh, yes, it does. You see, I can identify me because I know everything about me. Everything. My likes, my dislikes. I know how I feel. At this very moment you have no idea how I feel at this very moment which means you do not fully know me 
For one to be alive means that they are alive in all aspects. You have no knowledge of me being alive in all of those aspects. The only thing you can identify is you witnessed my performing acts of life. Breathing and speaking and talking and thinking for myself. Ah, now you can identify aspects of life and you can document that on affidavit. That's what we're doing. Because that refutes all of their presumptions because their presumptions is from a point of non-knowledge or ignorance. You see, a person is presumed alive. The law says you remain alive until the contrary is shown. So you, my suggestion, are to put forth irrefutable evidence of your being alive. I, I feel so alive for the very first time. And I think I can fly. I think I can fly. You remember the song, right? Ladies and gentlemen, everybody wants to feel alive. Well, being alive is not a feeling. Do you understand? That's why they want to feel that way. Because a lot of people feel dead inside. But then they don't know what it means to feel dead. These are expressive words. Okay, they're not reality words. You can't feel alive. Alive is not a feeling. Alive is a state of being. Are you understanding the presumption? I know you think it's just a play on words. Don't you understand that that's what a presumption is? It's a play on the most fundamental understandings of words. Where somebody has come up with a theory or a philosophy. And so we are creating a document that rebuts those presumptions. Ladies and gentlemen, this one I will be taking my time with because this is for our current sat packers. This is for those people who are getting the sat packs. I got one more thing that I need to show you, and then we're going to go ahead and complete this video and let you guys get back to your lives. I can take a, well, I can't take a break break, but I can take a break break because I did what I was setting out to do. I knew the foreclosure thing was coming because there was a moratorium, and I promised everybody, uh, we're going to go 20 T W. O N E dot O R G twenty to one dot org. So twenty, then two is T W, and then one O N E. Ten twenty twenty two one two is T W two 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 two. Just say T W. Put the two letters together. Two. You can't go T dub. No two. Two, 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 twenty, two, one. I don't know why it's... Oh, that's the internet neutrality. That's why that's going so slow. <sighs> I'm sorry. I've installed the first stage of... What do you call it? Reillusion. Crazy talk. And now I need to go to update. All right, now while Crazy Talk Update is doing, this is 20 to 1, ladies and gentlemen. If you go to 20 to 1, you go to the SAT packs, you will see, uh-oh, you know what? It's not 20 to 1. Well, this is where, this is the place, the link takes you here to order the SAT packs. Uh-uh, sorry about that. What happens is, this doesn't take you to the link for the price of the SAT pack. Well, as a matter of fact, it does. This is the SAT Pack Prime. So we want to go to the SAT Pack Plus. That's this one. So we're going to click on the SAT Pack Plus. Plus one, plus two, plus three. That's me yawning again. I definitely, you know what? I have some sleeping pills. Ultra Rail. And I think I'm going to take the Ultra Rail because tomorrow I'll start setting out the solar panels. What do I mean? I had a 24 volt battery. 24 volt. 
battery. This thing weighs over 90 pounds. It cost me, well, they waived some of the fees, but it cost me $150 to have it shipped. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a juggernaut of a battery. 24 volts, and I have a 24 volt inverter. See, net neutrality is not letting me go there. Uh, application failed because of side-to-side -side considerations. And, uh, please contact. Okay, I got you. I don't know why this is taking so long. I, I know what's going on, and I get it. And that's because I went to the wrong one first. I haven't installed this in a minute because uh, I didn't need to. But now I was going to install it. Okay. 64. I have a 64-bit system. Technically, if you have a 64 or 32 bit, you can use the 86 bit. But I prefer the 64 bit because of the resources and the speed and all of that stuff. You know, because I do a lot of. Look, it still hasn't gone to the website. Ladies and gentlemen, this is net neutrality. Oh, snap. I see what's going on. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys have been experiencing difficulties with accessing our site, uh, I apologize to you because I truly did not know about it until now I did not know that we're having so much interference so I will now I will have to reset these each of these links because all this time it should have gone there this should not have taken this long to click on a link for making a payment watch this I'm going to temporarily because I'm going to, it's going to take me a second to get to the program for this. Look at that. I, I, I apologize, you guys. You don't understand. I can't even right click on it. That's the, that's how bad this is. Now, I know that this worked because I tested everything out a couple of weeks ago and several people have already ordered the SAP packs. But since that time, uh-uh, I can't even click, I can't even right click on this right now. Let's see, can I right click on this? I can't right click anywhere on the page. So let's go back. And let's go back. This is the wonderful experiences that we have to deal with with these ignorant companies and they're interfering with our websites and interfering with our information. But we won't know unless you guys inform us. So what I will tell you is this plus that pack it doesn't come with arbitration okay there's an arbitration clause in the SAP pack but you don't get the discounted arbitration rate for bringing the SAP pack uh, alright I'll take care of that I'll take care of that what's happening is there are certain things trying to install in the background and I can't see it because this screen is up but it still hasn't gone to any site so what I'm gonna have to do ladies and gentlemen look at that it won't even let me refresh the page or anything huh okay well what's gonna happen ladies and gentlemen so that oh look at that now it lets me click right click so I right clicked and I wanna see if it's gonna go to the payment oh look at that it did it twice the first one when we were trying to go and the second one okay so the links are there it's just somebody has interfered with our site so that we can't get to these links as quickity splickety as we want to get to the you know what I'm saying this is what we're going through we have and we can't prove anything I can only show you what's been going on this has been going on for over two years now Again, this is what they do. And so I've asked them to leave me alone. The more they keep messing with me, I'm going to keep giving you guys information that they don't want out there. Oh, I, I'm going to let this down. I'll, I'll take care of that in a moment. If you guys don't understand what this is right here and what this will do, if you guys don't understand about the affidavits and having an EKG attached along with your birth certificate, your birth certificate doesn't prove you're alive. But the EKG proves you have a heartbeat. I'll be putting other things. Shh, I'm not going to tell you what they are. You're just going to have to wait till it's complete. I'm not going to be doing any updates on this. 
because again, this is for our Sat Pack Plus, Sat Pack Prime, and Sat Pack Omega people. Because there are certain places this document will have to go. Okay, remember, it's an affidavit. And our Omega people, our notaries do their documents. So we will be providing them several copies of the notarized document. Well, technically, we won't be providing it to them. Our notaries will be sending these out. So we'll be sending these out via notary presentment. Okay? Notary presentment is legal. Hold on. This I'm just giving you guys a heads up so that you'll know... Um, N O T A R Y P R E S E N T M E N O Meta E N T Alright, I just put notary presentment of the instrument. And I just did notary presentment because that's the term. By the way, most people think that these individuals are figuring out notary presentment and that's just something they came up with. As I told you, they've been doing this since 1995. All you got to do is go look at the commercial lien document. Okay? One of the duties of a notary is to take acknowledgement and proof of instruments in writing executed by a person and to give a certificate of such proof or acknowledgement endorsed on or attached by the instrument. Okay, now a notary presentment is that which is mailed by the notary. Now watch, watch this. P-R-O-O-F Oh, I put the U and the T. I cross-posed them. Uh, S-E-R-V-I-C-E -E. See, I should have just went with notary proof of service because that's a notary presentment. Ladies and gentlemen. Said certificate of service was signed by a notary public. The court construes his amended arguments to invoke the application of Fair Sentencing Act. The defendant also reiterates his entitlement to an evidentiary hearing. Ladies and gentlemen, need you to understand, if you're in the federal court, the law says that if you do not get an evidentiary hearing and you ask for it before sentencing, that the appeals court automatically must reverse that sentence automatically because you have the absolute right to an evidentiary hearing uh, this was 2011 and this is a federal court United States versus Wells and I don't know what happened in this case after the court granted the two extensions of time the government okay I guess he asked for extended time <sighs> poor child it says Notary public acknowledgement not copied. I don't care about that. Notary public certification omitted. Notary public certificate of acknowledgement. The verification was signed in the presence of a notary and the notary affixed a proper jurat. The acknowledgement was notarized by notary public in the state of Florida. Okay, we don't get notary proof of service only but that first time. So what we do, let me show you, then we get off of this conversation, off of this uh, particular video, let you guys get back to your life, let me show you what you do. We copy this because this is the statement we're looking for. We get rid of notary presentment and we put that statement uh oh there we go who I thought I messed up I thought I hit the copy as opposed to the control V control V for pasting sorry that's another yawn now that yawn is not actually always because I'm tired that one was because of oxygen okay 
A certificate of service serves as proof of service. Lord have mercy. This signed certificate. Oh, I, I, you know what? Wait, hold on. Okay, you guys may not have seen what was going on. Because the quote was certificate of service in quotations, everything that pulled up was certificate of service. We are looking for a certificate of service of a notary, not simply just certificate of service. Okay, let's see. Okay, signed by a notary. We got that one. The process service signed a return of service before a notary public, constituting some sort of acknowledgement before a public notary. Some sort of acknowledgement. Do you see how the court is sitting up here trying to make it look like these individuals don't know what they're doing? Um, by the way, Double S Services and Pell State Bulk Plant, this is more than likely a private servicing company. The process server can verify the return by effectuating some sort of an acknowledgement before an notary public. Here is the law in this state that says that you can use a notary to mail your documents. It's called a notary presentment. It is the law. Some notaries have been told they can't do that. That is a lie. The acknowledgement was notarized by a notary public in the state of Florida. Okay, but we're looking for the proof of service. And look, it doesn't it doesn't exist down here. It's just certificate signed and sealed. I'm yours. Hey, here I am, baby. Ah, signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. If y'all didn't know, no music in the background. Last couple of videos, ain't that amazing? How does he do that? I don't know, chap. You just need to remember the name. Okay. I'm going to... You know what? Uh-uh. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have to go to that case. <laughs> I go to this case. This is the one that's highlighting it. It's going to give me what I'm looking for. Because that's what I'm talking about. And then I'm going to go eat me some egg sandwiches like I had last night. Man, that junk was all right. Uh, and validated, uh, it says, well, the defendant argues that the process service striking out sheriff and deputy invalidated the return of service. That fact merely indicates that the return must be verified or signed under penalty of perjury. While the process server did not sign the return under penalty of perjury with the form required under Rule 7, a process server can verify the return by effectuating some sort of acknowledgement before a notary public. The process service signed the return of service before a notary public, constituting some sort of acknowledgement before the notary, but not under, uh, what you call it, um, penalty of perjury. Because the process server verified the return of service by signing the affidavit for delivery before a notary public, the affidavit of delivery satisfy Rules 107E. That's exactly what it says. The defendant argues that the service was not adequate because the return service did not contain both the name and signature of the person who served the citation. Didn't have to. The defendant argues that because the deputy sheriff also marked through the name and ineligible signatures are not in the spot reserved for the authorized person, the return of service does not meet the Rule 7 requirements that the return of service contain the name and signature of the person who served the citation. I agree with that. Now, of course, they're going to disagree, but I agree with that. If they don't sign in the correct spot, then that means that they are not authorizing that document as required by their own rule because they put the name and things on the document. In Nugent versus Lopez, a return of service contained a name on one of the lines a sheriff and a, or a constable would fill out if they effectuated service, but those titles were marked out Blah, blah, blah. In that case, modified on other grounds. Now, it doesn't tell me what they decided. 
The court stated that the name of the person allegedly effectuating service was omitted from the return and nothing in the form expressly dominated the person who served the citation on the defendant. Additionally, the signature was ineligible and failed to indicate who made the signature. Ah, thus, okay, so they did agree. Because the service name is not located where authorized person's name should appear, the signature could not substitute the name of the person of the process server, and the court held that the return of service failed to comply with the rule. I, hey, I didn't think that they were going to agree, but that's exactly what I concluded. You heard me say it before even reading it, so it appears that that is correct. They created the form, so they said their signature was going to go there. They didn't say it was going to go any place they wanted to. So thus, they were obligated by their own form. That's what I'm saying. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's how our documents will be presented. This is this is not the actual document. This is a overlay. This is not even on a screen. The actual document is here. Okay, but this one remains on the screen temporarily because of the overlay problem. So that's the document we're creating. And you notice how we have from the cradle? to the grave we chose that as the symbol because this shows life continuous life that's what we're trying to do that's what we're trying to bring forth so y'all stay with me uh, those of you who are getting the sap packs like I said the current sap packs are I don't know um, should have been up should have been not there not there. I don't know where which one I had it open in. The current sap pack might be this one. I doubt if it was this one too. Yeah, it is. Look, they still haven't shown up. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to know this is what they've been doing to us. To interfere with our economy. To interfere with our doing business. Now, we didn't know because no one has told us. Okay? But now that we are aware, this one says transferring data, refocusing data, and all this stuff. It should not have taken this long to get to these this website. There was no way in the world it should have taken that long. No way on this planet. It should have taken that long. Just to get to a website that belongs to us. This is three different attempts to get there. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, not three. That's four, five, six, seven. All going to the same link and cannot link up. Now, here's the thing. This site that it's going to, I've already tested the link because that is a secured site. That's why you see the lock. It is a secured site. It's not just any site. And I've tested the link to make sure that there were no problems with the link. But as you can see, you can't go anyplace. So now I got to go back in and I got to redo it. So, oh, there it is. And I closed it. <laughs> I closed it and I am so sorry. So we do know the link works, but I'm going to have to redo it because as you see, only one of them actually got there. And two of them, the other one got there too. Here it is right here. Okay, this is the SAP Pack Plus. And it's a simple thing to fill out. Okay, the price is already set. Where's the price at? They don't put it here. Huh, I didn't know. This is my first time seeing this. The price is already set. I can't check out until I fill out all of this, so I can't show you that it's 480 for the SAP Pack Plus because it does not include the access to the arbitration. And the reason why it's only 480 is because we discounted the arbitration twice. Once when we put it in here originally and now. So this will be similar to the Q pack, but not the Q pack. This will have a couple of more features other than the Q pack. The SAP packs all equate to the same thing. There are they are all securities. If you're an original SAP packer, you don't have to get an Omega SAP pack you are already doing just fine with your credits and the value of your pack okay the only thing that you won't have is a couple of documents that they are having plus the filing of the tax documents they will get that done 
through our organization. Those of you, originally there was no promise of doing those documents. So that's why when we shut down that program, it wasn't because we had promised that we would do it. We had to shut it down because too many individuals were doing exactly what we said, trying to copy the process. Now we're going to have individuals sign uh, contracts to have us fill out those documents. I have taken the opportunity of becoming a tax preparer. That's right, I don't have to go call nobody and ask them to do my taxes and file them electronically. I already have that capability. I and at least two more people in our organization have the capabilities of being tax preparers. We are not just going to be doing documents just to be doing documents. We're not going to be just be doing people's taxes because they need their taxes done. That ain't it ain't that type of work being done here. We're doing this for the organization and our SAT PAC new clients, the Omega and the uh, what is that? The Prime does not come with the plus. We'll provide some services, but not all the services, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be updating that information and explaining more about that as time goes by. So we just want you guys to stand by. I just wanted to introduce you to this document. I really have been hesitant putting this up here because I know so many people are going to try to outbest me. But I say go for it, honestly. Okay? I just won't be putting up any more updates about this document other than giving it to our Omega clients. Now, this document will be for the Omega client. Then we'll give it to the Prime clients later, and then eventually the Plus clients will get this, along with all the other SAP packers. In other words, the Plus and the other SAP packers will get it at the same time, so y'all just gonna have to be patient, okay? Because we, as you see, for the last two and a half weeks, I've been working on trying to help everybody including our sap packers well now I'm gonna focus on the Omega group because the Omega group that's our that's our Omega group that's the number one big that's the big dog hey ladies and gentlemen it's 115 I gotta go because this is a meeting night for us take care of yourselves and I missed I had another meeting I was supposed to attend last night and I got so distracted with all of the stupid things going on that I forgot. So I had to take care of that meeting online. And it turns out I got to take care of that meeting plus two more meetings because I spent a lot of time online listening to those meetings. So I got a double dosage, but I don't like missing my meetings. So I had to let my God know that I ain't going to let that happen no more because it ain't like that no more. All right, got to go, ladies and gentlemen. I would love to keep talking to you because I know that you guys... Some of you get a lot from the information that is talked about, even if other people think it's nonsense. I got you. Take care of yourselves. Stay out of trouble. What do I mean by stay out of trouble? Stop arguing with people. Real quick, I had somebody email me today saying, hey, I got this problem. I have this stuff right here, and they're not giving it to me because they say I need to provide them with this. And I don't want to provide them with that. I want you to help me. So I wrote the person back and I said, why don't you stop being so stubborn and give the idiots what they want and give them what they want. And once you give them what they want, I don't mean want, I mean want, but I mean won't. Once you give them what they want, then you sue them and you sue them for any expense or any loss that may have been brought about as a result of their ignorance. They don't understand. Oh, well, life goes on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, take care of yourselves, and I will speak to you all later. Goodbye.